Christmas. All right, for those that were here before uh, the pre-show and while the little starting Zoom screen was on, um, I'm sorry. No, you're not. I'm, I'm never sorry. I'm very incredibly sorry. I'm also apologizing for uh, Evo for playing what can only be described as anime filth, but in musical form. No, it's not. It is a masterpiece. I felt violated listening to it. Oh, I'll violate you in other ways. That's fine. But... What does this podcast come to? I don't, I don't know anymore. This is, this is stupid. A anyway, hello. Hi, welcome to the Voices from Behind podcast. <laughs> The podcast where we list, sometimes listen to some weep shit, and other times you give movies to each other and we discuss them the week after. Uh, with weep shit. With weep shit in the background. I, I'm the host, I'm Evo, with me as the co-host, who is also called Evo. Uh, last week, uh, I gave you the film also known as The Invitation, but we're uh, going to talk about that later on. First, we're going to get into what we did over the week, then we're going to go over some news. And yeah, we're going to get to the film at the end. Please don't prompt any more weep shit to play. I don't want us. I don't want us this. Uh, don't want the stream getting taken down. For what? Being amazing. I don't know. Time Warner is going to show up out of nowhere and go, or you and Jin, they're going to go. This uwu shit that you're playing is clearly ours. No, it's not. Robert Kelly will come get us. He'll come and get, get all the musics. No, he. No, he's not. Yeah, you ever think that though? You play something stupid. You play like like a stupid cover or something. It happened to a bunch of musical people on YouTube where they played a cover of a song, clearly under fair use and clearly you know fully, fully there. And uh, UMG and Time Warner came after them and like took all the earnings off the videos. Mm, that's they will you can still get them back. Nope. As long as you as they long as you provide the prof. Uh, the good a well, good case no yeah and they they and you, you tried to and you label it down in the subscription in the, in the description yeah you but you try you try to dispute it some fucking lesson uh channels got struck by it you know the people that just teach you like a song on guitar they yeah. got struck for playing the song and the song in question was smoke on the water mind you well the first thing everybody learns on I guitar mean, and they're going around striking people for that I mean, you know that people, no, uh, it's like time for Chumba Wumba's uh, song. I forgot. Which you one? Know the famous one? The Chumba Wumba one. The, the, literally the only song that everybody fucking knows. Uh, Chumba Wumba. I'm, I'm trying to think now. I get knocked. I get knocked down. I got knocked down. Yeah. A apparently, see, apparently, you can you can hum songs now, and you can still get copyright. No, no, no. See, this is the most hilarious part, because Chumba Wumba. British people who are anti-establishment and this is their only album they ever fucking wanted to release yeah. as part of it and you still get struck down for it even though they don't fucking want it is it bad that when, when I hear I get knocked down but I can only sing the club uh, club UFO song version no awesome no. Yeah. <laughs> well uh, that's much true also I mean you know the Sail by Avo Nation song Sail yeah. yeah you know the Devil Driver's uh, version it's it's better than the original, yeah. Oh yeah, the yeah, Volnation the Volnation people agree and they fucking love it and mm -hmm. they want it to be played. But see, the big wigs were like, no, 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 it's copyright infringement, and that put a big fucking dispute because uh, they tried also to sue them because they were playing it live. And uh... It's also part of their 2015, I think it was. It's part of their set list, wasn't it? No, it was at one point it was part of the set list, but it's also part of their album, the 2015 one, Winter Kills. I think it was called. Well, I think it was 2015. Man, silly. It's it was very silly. It, 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 yeah, it, it's um, it's the same as Manowar getting sued by the Bulgarian government. 
Yeah, but I also fucking see these sons of bitches. Because <laughs> they, they learned, they played the entirety of the national anthem at a concert, but in Bulgarian as well, which is impressive. Well, I th- well, yeah. I'd still fucking steal the living shit out of these sons of bitches. Well, they, 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 look, they look like they're out of gold knacks. What's wrong with them? <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you talking about Joy the fucking Mayo? The same person was like, I am the, the only real protector of real heavy metal. Pipe down. Group with a fucking pedophile on it. Pipe the fuck down. I don't so worry. The, they're, they're all sleek and... Uh, no, they're not. They're little bitches. Oily. Come on. The only reason why they had so many fucking concerts in Bulgaria is because some demented individuals still think they're good for some fucking reason, even though they passed actually every fucking album they released is the same fucking five notes over. Well, yeah, they're, most of their over. songs are kind of samey as it is. No, it is exactly the same. Some are sped up, some are sped down. <laughs> but there, it's the same. It's over and over. And, and apparently, he's the true protector of you, heavy metal. I was like, yeah. And I'm made of all the fucking clay. You can call me porcelain, man. Because I'm made of, all of clay. <laughs> That's just, now that you say Man of War, I just Googled him for the sake of it. Yeah, one of the... Uh, I, I forgot who it was. It wasn't the. Uh, it wasn't Joey. It, I think it was one of the main. No, it is, it's the... Joey DeMaio. Uh, I'm cur- I think. No, no, he's Joey the... DeMaio. No, he's the. He's the leader of the band, but he's. Jesus. He's. He's bass. I think wasn't he bass? bass? He's the bass player. Yeah. yeah. I think the leader. How, the leader why does he have four pickups on his bass? That's a. Jesus yeah. Christ! Can we? We all have to pipe the fuck down. Hmm. Thank you. I'll tell you the story later about, about the police. But no, because I've Googled him now, and the first article that came up was Manowar Joey DeMaio sends tribute band Manowar a cease and desist over logo. Oh, 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 sorry. Like I said, I think it was the main guitar player like two years ago got caught with the children's pornography. Oh. That, that was thinking. Uh, didn't that happen with um, Suicide Silence as well? I don't even know them, so don't look at me. Suicide Silence are a... Um, they're um, like a metalcore band. And okay, let's they, see they made... Core. They made... Yeah. They made um, Dante's new theme in the DMC5. And just, just as the game started, so, you know, the trailer started coming up and the new song started coming up, it turned out that... Uh, Eddie Hermida, their vocalist, was like something about was like involved in sexual misconduct or something like that. I mean, there's one thing that there's a difference between sexual misconduct and fucking pedophilia. Mm, mm-hmm. Chill, child pornography. Oh no! Uh, his apology starts with recently people have been com- coming out about band members sexually harassing them and them getting involved with minors. Oh well. I mean, it's always, I mean, I also remember the fucking Akon situation from several, sorry, from almost can, a fucking decade yeah. ago. Well, yeah, that, that's what that's but, what I was talking about, Robert Kelly as well, because yeah, but, man, he, but he's in fighting Aiken, for his life. I mean, listen, in Akon's case, I don't think you, you can blame the guy as much as people want to blame, wanted to blame, and did blame him. <laughs> I mean, na- nowadays, the, nowadays people just point the finger at everyone. At, at, yeah, and people are just cause... looking for excuses to just. Point. So in any situation, it was a girl that was allowed backstage who was underaged. And the thing is, to be allowed backstage, you have to be uh, over 18. Yeah. And apparently she provided f- f- fake ID. And the, f- and the bouncer set her through for some fucking reason. And that's where the problem starts, because Aiko is sitting in his backstage, so he, sh- he knows that it's 18 over. He doesn't know that the girl is below 18. And I was like... So, I mean, the fuck, is he supposed to also ask for identification and know the difference between fake and not fake ID? Something doesn't make sense. Yeah. But they blamed him. And he's also, he's uh, rehabilitated himself and uh, he actually does more than himself does when it comes to you know, helping people in Africa. He's fucking, it's fucking surreal. And that's why I don't like donations. I'm just currently showing Man of War on the screen. And, uh, fuck him. Boy, fuck him. it's a sight to behold. I'm sorry, it's look almost at, the same as at, fucking Look at that handlebar Maiden. back here. Look at that I'm handlebar. Sorry. Look at that. Jesus it's almost the Christ. same as fucking Iron Maiden and that piece of shit. Uh, sorry, the, uh, those pieces of shit. <laughs> man, I don't know, man. Three years, Iron, Iron Maiden is Iron Maiden. One day, be- then, one week before yeah. lunch. One week before Bruce lunch. Like, mouth. 
and, and it was also the, the the big wigs as well, and they stick their own fucking uh, what was the word for it? their own fucking lords. Yeah, and at, at least the the 3D realms did the good thing. Don't get me wrong though, uh, Ion, uh, no, Ion, uh, Manowar have some good songs still. No, they don't. They have some fuck a em, few dec- em, a few em. decent songs, but I also noticed that their main sort of uh, father, man. Sorry, father, father, I look up to you. <laughs> I noticed that their ma- their main because... sort of muscly man really reminds me of the disturbed guy, you know the disturbed logo with the. I don't even want to talk about these people. I don't like them. I What's wrong like with this dude? Oh, yeah. Yama na mana. No, it's not even music. I just Ooh, feel the tone of vocal. Mana, mana, mana. Any piece of shit that talks shit about Lemmy needs to be fucking put down. Wait, he talks shit Just... about Lemmy? Yeah. You can fuck right off then. <laughs> My point exactly. <laughs> it's like, there is a limit. You don't touch yeah. Lemmy. It's one of them. He's the purest, purest of pure. Why would you touch Lemmy? Exactly. Speaking I mean, of that, he... you, sh- you should, you should uh, watch, you know, when they did his funeral, Dave Grohl did the um, one of the speeches. It's one of the most gut wrenching, like sweetest things I've ever seen. Like from a, you know, from a bunch of rock people. But rock people. Rock no, there was also people. there was also a documentary about him and before he passed away, and you know he's uh, it was like this heartwarming scene. It was like, what is your greatest achievement? And he and he go, uh, his son is next to him. He just heard and said, "This is this is my greatest achievement." Aww. Something like that. Something like that. Let me, you he's... pure pure boy. I mean, he always had a whole Man's dying of cancer, it. he's doing fucking tours before he dies of cancer. That's how we do it. You mm-hmm. don't throw temper tantrums like Kanye and you walk off stage because somebody booed at you. Yeah. But enough about much. that. T- tell me about your week. Uh, how, how was your week? It was just a fucking tiring shit show. Oh. Uh, today I went and saw Dr. Sleep. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. It's actually oh. pretty good. Oh, shit. Okay, I might actually go see that then. You should. It's fucking amazing. Surprising. The trailers yeah, The trailers did not make it look good at all. Oh, no. See, some of the effects were fucking wonky as shit. They were fucking Wait, bad. Wait, eff- effects? What do you mean effects? It's just you're reading somebody's mind. That's The Shining, isn't it? No, not or exactly. S- speaking to the dead or whatever it is. Well, no, it's a bit more complex. It's like the force. It's not to really explain what the fuck it is. Okay. It just, it just is. And you don't question because you don't fucking need to question Yeah, again, it. it just depends on how much cocaine Stevie um, it's, decided to uh, every, every, uh, The actors, they did an amazing job. I actually liked all, all of it, including the child actor, which is a fucking rare thing these days for <laughs> me. You know, usually it is, so nah. It's, it's not the ch- children's... Uh, it's not an issue with the children. But you know, it's just how it is. Yeah. Also, I was just, oh my god, just for Rebecca Ferguson. Ugh. Rebecca Ferguson, my fucking god. Where have you been all my fucking life? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah Trust yeah. me. Oh yeah. Where was she all my fucking life? She she's been she's been in movies before. Well, she was in Mission Impossible. I don't fucking care about those. I yeah, she was in young. The Greatest Showman as well. I skipped that one for it's not, fucking reasons. It's not terrible for it's like horrendous. an uplifting musical. It's not terrible. There's some good, good songs in it. Yeah, no, thank you. But you know, but that, well, that's fair. She does an amazing job. As as it currently turns out, she might actually have a really long career. Very naturally pretty as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. 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 She she's one of those uh, stupidly beautiful women that you just sit and it was like I um uh, yeah I yeah yeah. You just nod. She mm. whatever she says, you just think uh huh yeah uh huh okay yeah. So, you know, oh my, I just oh, she I it what uh, I mean. <laughs> exactly exactly exactly, yeah. exactly that reaction. We we'll just swallow your fucking tongue and can't see, say a single fucking word properly because you know you're just uh, uh, realizing the fucking amount of beautiful that this woman is, and you're like. Mm. <laughs> Everybody's got those moments. It doesn't even need to be uh, to a spe- uh, specific. You yeah. can't always share the same one, but you know the moment when you see someone. It's not even a woman, just someone that's so stupidly well looking. You're like, uh huh. You just don't even know how to react. You just go, ah, bad, bad. 
and that's it. That's that's yeah. that's the end of the conversation. You awkwardly walk away, putting your boner away, while the girl never speaks to you ever again. Uh, well, th- this this sounds like personal experience. But and, yeah, then, totally and then you just... wonder, and then you wonder why I'm single. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's like like I said, it's like you need to go and watch it. It's actually pretty good. I think this is to date maybe one of the best Stephen King adaptations. But here is the kicker: I have not read the book, so I cannot say it still is a good movie. And CGI Jack Nicholson is really fucking good. There's a... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There is a CGI back, uh, Jack Nicholson. There is one. I didn't know Suck about it. that. Suck it. Yeah, I mean, they do go back to the hotel, so that's kind of expected. Mm-hmm. That's, what's ma- that's what makes it so fucking special for me, because oh, they, they do all the previous haunts, um, most of them. Okay. And it's almost, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's not an homage, it can't be a fucking homage when everybody fucking, I don't know, knows about it at this point. I guess, no, let's go with that one. But it's so fucking good. It's just... They understood the fucking scene. They didn't do it the Kubrickian style of uh, wide angle, long, long ass shots where you're sitting there, you know, stuff like that. The, but... a, you mean a slaved over shot, basically. Where I, you, just, I just slave over the shots and, you know. Yeah. Uh, there is one part that disliked when he walked through the hotel and it was the slow reawakening of the hotel because it's always been run down, hasn't been up for quite some time. And it's. I thought it was too slow for me. I was okay. just like, uh, I understand it. I get it. I get it. it please it, stop. It, yeah. Listen, it is also a Kubrickian style scene. The whole fucking sequence is quite fucking Kubrickian, and I like it. But as a person who has already fucking spent his uh, watch, binge watched all of Kubrick's work, I just. <laughs> I know this is the once in a lifetime thing you do. You, you, you just don't do it anymore. Yeah. Fucking sitting for three and a half hours of Spartacus with the fucking intermission. No, thank you. Not anymore. Spartacus. Not wait, Spartacus isn't a Kubrick film, is it? <laughs> am I? Am I? Yes. Am I blissfully unaware? Oh, if you are. Spartacus movie. I need. I need a movie. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch I'm of Spartacus. Search. Oh yeah, it so is a Kubrick 1970, film. 1970. 1960. Oh yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I can't fucking remember at this point. Yeah, it's a it's a Kubrick movie. I could tell. It's a really good one. I didn't, I didn't even realize it was a Kubrick film. I mean, it's probably the, one of the better known. I mean, it has a, for the, the most overplayed scene in existence. I, I am Spartacus. Spartacus. No, I am Spartacus. No, I am Spartacus. Oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah. We're all Spartacus. <laughs> We're all Spartacus. Yeah. I am Groot. Yeah. What the hell is this? What am I looking at? Which, which one? That was, it was it's something else. It's. Five stars. Uh huh. And I. <laughs> Gora and Vismich. It's Spartacus. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing it's a remake or something. No, this is it's a bunch of them. I mean, it's 1960. Jesus. It's yeah. just fucking good Douglas. What the fuck? I mean, it re- it's the same as when people remade Ben Hur and nobody remembered. I don't think you're, I want to remember you're, back you're, you're uh, remember, the remake. You remember the remake of Ben Hur that came out and nobody actually went and saw. I don't want to remember it because it was a piece of shit. Oh, because yeah. it was a CGI fuckfest. Well, yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. But there's just like, film. There's certain films from back mm, in the day you just can't catch the magic of. There is. There is also the fact that it's like, uh, Dan Danny became an alcoholic. Their struggles. <laughs> overcomes like, his alcoholism, yeah. fair, you know, that fair. And this is the most part. When in, in that situation, he stares at the bottle, he yeah. realizes what he's about to do, and he throws it the fuck away. No relapse. Thank you. Just just fucking thank you. Oh, so there wasn't a scene in the film where he, where he shrunk violently and went to drink? I mean, he was struggling with the idea because of certain events that follow, uh, followed, uh, sorry, preceded that moment, but it makes sense. And he stood there and he was on the cusp of making a very important choice. And as a person uh, like him who has spent eight years fighting this addiction and having people's kindness and change them, which, by the way, you don't see any of it because uh, it's no point, it's the time skip. Yeah, yeah that's... It's- it's it's because it's young uh, old Danny, not young Danny. So well, no, I mean this is like in his early uh, sorry mid twenties or something, like early thirties. Then eight years later, and you know, up until those those uh, mid uh, mid early early thirties, he's an alcoholic. He's a complete fucking yeah. bad. He's a bad job. And he... well, for anybody that's seen The Shining, they'll know what he's gone through. So 
I mean, actually that happens afterwards because he struggles with other issues. He doesn't struggle with his father being, you know, possessed by the whole hell and stuff. He doesn't he doesn't remember that much of it. He remembers what the fuck he did, but he, and he understands what the fuck happened. So he doesn't blame his father, he understands because he's still haunted by the nightmares from the hotel. Yeah. As part of the reason why. And it's like, How's you moment, McGregor's American accent? Possible. Passable okay, I'll take possible. I mean it there's like uh, I mean, I don't know. Is it better like, than Judd Law's American accent in uh in the in existence um yeah okay I'm that's go good. yeah okay. i mean i i thought i found it possible i don't find it like he was uh, utterly how should i put it he wasn't as bad as uh uh oh, what the fuck was her name hmm? j j law's russian accent level of bad it's like I mean, I'm, sorry, I'm just you, trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think why. St I mean, she's not a bad actress, but why do people still yeah. like push her so much? She's not that great. Because she sells. Because she. Because she, she sells. I mean, yeah, I get it. But it's just. Un but but yeah. but she but she sells the worst thing. She sells uh, the fucking girl next door, uh, image that everybody knows and everybody likes. She'll she's turn face at some point. Don't uh, worry. And open and it's like oh, huh. but she's not because everybody, because most people have seen for the fucking charade. Both yeah. people, and I don't give a shit. She Which is, face, and I also so... want to point out, you don't need to see The Shining previously because they kind of go into the backstory, to explain what the fuck happened. Okay, that's good. Kind of see I The mean, Shining. Guys... Go see The Shining as well. The Shining's great. I mean, if you want to see it, see it's a good movie. It's I mean, the best. if you want to kind of sit through it, yeah, because <laughs> it's also pretty long, but uh, it's also the best Stephen King movie, which is not a Stephen King movie. Because Stephen it King doesn't it... like that film, because he, he... he doesn't, because he because he's, he said you know, I'm he... gonna do it better. Uh, no, 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 he's kind of right, because uh, Kubrick didn't follow the book at all, and he was no. pissed that Kubrick didn't fo follow the book, and there's a lot of problems with the Shining, especially when it comes to storytelling and how he, uh, it glossed over some issues that made no sense, especially with the slow, with the demise of Jack Nicholson into insanity and alcoholism, that shit was fucking glossed over. Yeah. That was legitimately that's the, that's fucking... The, the one thing out of the, f that's done better in the, what's it called, in the TV... Yeah. Series. In the TV, because it made sense there. It was like, of course, it was a TV series, so it wasn't as good as it could have been if, you know. But then again, still a king, so he's ego. Well, that's yes. fair. But but I do think that it's a really uh, good movie and it should be seen. Uh, like I said, I think it's probably the best Stephen King movie since oh, The Shining. Okay. Well, The Shining has also artistic value, which is different. Here it's is like paying homage. Yeah. Again, also, like I, like I, mean, I said, that's... certain films from back in the day just can't recapture them the same way. I mean, I have mean... you seen Lawrence of Arabia? Yeah. Have you seen how fucking gorgeous that film is? I don't think there's been a single film after it that's been able to, like, look the way Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia does. I, I, I think it looks has to do with the fucking cameras they used back at the time. It was the I first mean... time they used, is it Panavision? Yeah, I mean, also the fucking tint that they created because they were older. So usually when you see an older movie, there's like this fucking tent next to it. Uh, and it shows, and it also gives that whole old-timey feeling to it, which is kind of helps out the movie yeah. nowadays. So, yeah, but Lawrence of Arabia could pass for a modern film, if you look at it. Not it's, exactly. it's the, fir it's the first time they use 70 mils. Yeah, but not like, nah, actually, you can always tell those things. It's like, like I said, it's like this level of tint to it. There's it, a grain. It, something. There's a film grain, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's barely noticeable, but you can still tell it's there. It's like it's like good CGI. You can, you, can, you, can, you know can, it's there, but yeah, but you kind of choose actually, not to see it. You don't really know it's there because your mind doesn't process it if it's uh, used properly. Like like I said, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park. Sorry, the first one had CGI in it. Many people still don't know about it. They still think that all of it was animatronics, which is not right. Uh, oh shit! Were. There's a 4K restoration of it. I didn't know that. Jurassic Park one, yeah. No, 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 there's like... a 4K restoration of Lawrence of Arabia. Ah, that's fair. And that's apparently it looks Shining, incredible. Yep, it does look incredible. Jesus yeah. Christ. And I I do enjoy when people... Uh, I'm going to put it up on the screen they so use, people can see. Uh, use the CGI uh, sparingly and how it should be used because it makes the movies way Because then you better. can appreciate it way more, yeah. I mean, you don't even realize it's that. It's like, but yeah. when you see a CGI fuck fest, it looks fucking horrendous. Are you, are you looking at the screen? So you can, uh, you can see these yet. as well. Oh, yeah. 
So I mean, like I said, you can still tell it's an old timey one. True, but look at this shot. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is. Like, it's the first time they use uh, Panavisions, so it's 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 the whole spectrum, and you, it's widescreen. It just looks incredible. It looked incredible in the original, but looking at looking at the four K restoration, you're like, holy shit. What's but it, like I said, I mean, you can stuff. always tell that it's older. Like, like sure. I said, this this tint to it. It's also the way that I guess they compose shots that just doesn't. They don't do it anymore. Yeah. This again, though, but this is also a good shot right here. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. other than that, I saw the new episode of Titans. I saw eight and nine just before we started. And I'm kind of getting tired of this a bit because I just want them to move the fucking plot forward. Or oh, well, they just moved it. With episode 9, they moved it. I know. I know. At the fucking end of it. Yeah, because I, I think dumb. this is the um, this is the mid-season thing, isn't it? I don't know. I actually don't know. I haven't checked. Because it's... I don't know. It just gets fucking grating. Because, oh no, we got, we got back together. We have issues when we deal them with fucking children by running away. And now we're all going to deal them uh, independently and fail miserably. And then we're going to come together and deal with all our issues together. Because, you know... Yeah, well, it's it's the midpoint is. where the team breaks apart and they will, they'll get back together again. The same thing happened yeah. last season as well. Yeah, but once a fucking season is enough, St still better than last season, though, overall. Oh, yeah, that, that is a thing. That is a completed utter thing. Quite good, quite good. Mm. Do you want to hear a funny story? Yes. So it was bonfire night, was it two nights ago? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Yes. I was like... Yeah, I, I went on Saturday to get a fucking I know, some, uh, Chinese. Yeah, oh, holy Chinese. shit. Chinese. Yeah, so many people dressed as the fucking choker. It yep. was not even funny. Bad, isn't oh, it? My. It was sad. It was either high school students by uh, 20 somethings or choker by 20 something males. I was like, fat, mm -hmm. a bunch of fat nerds, yeah. Not even that. Just you know the old meme, uh, four tickets to the Joker. Yeah. Yeah, this was literally walking down the street at every fucking like, every fifteen meters. I was like, uh, <sighs> yeah. There was this. I'm trying to. I'm gonna try and find it. Probably won't be able to. Uh, there was a meme about this Halloween, and it was just a picture of a bunch of Jokers and a bunch of Harley Quinns and like two, three Deadpool's, and it was like so perfect. It was scary. <laughs> It's like a couple of years ago used to be pff, Harley Quinn. It was yeah. the thing for to, uh, Halloween. Now it's the Joker. Yeah. I'm I'm just waiting for the Penguin. We're not gonna get. Yeah, that's that's in the news. Don't oh, worry. Really? We're gonna we're gonna get to the Penguin. <laughs> I mean, I saw some stuff, but I can't fucking remember at this point. Um, How was your week? Because I can't remember shit anymore. Because I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> I'm tired as well. I've just been working a lot. Um. I, uh, so when I, <laughs> so I'm just looking at this image of the Joker. Um, so, uh, it was bonfire night two nights ago. Yeah. And Sorry, the meme of November. Remember, remember the, the memes meme of, of November. November. Yeah. What have I done? Asks Alan Moore as he prays to his snake God. Um, I... I was at home on the 5th, and I was just, you know, just chilling out. It was 9 o'clock, and I'm sitting down at my computer just to uh, think of, I was playing play, play a bit of guitar. And mm -hmm. I, I'm literally just, I just went, you know, just sat down in my chair. And all of a sudden, my whole room is blue. And the sirens are going off. I'm like, the hell's going on? Because I'm literally right on the main road. So I look out the, you know, the window. There's a police van and three cars. And there's a bus in the middle of the road. So these three cars in the van have cornered off the bus so nobody can get out. And there's like 10 police people just rushing to get inside the bus. And they're like escorting people out and shit. And I'm like, what's going on? So I have to go to the kitchen to look from there. But because I'm so close to the road, the police were like waving me to go to, to go away. So apparently there was like four arrests made that night or something like that right in front of my door on bonfire night. Yeah. I was like, why? What's what's happened? Blah, blah, blah. And then it turns out that there's been like 
people with illegal fireworks or something getting on buses and setting them off or whatever. I was, I was like, oh, oh, this is morbid as fuck, isn't it? Uh, apart from that, I don't think I did much. Like, I watched Titans and... Oh, I'll tell you what I did do. I played a bunch of Devil Daggers. And? God, that's a good game. Did you play? No, no, I, uh, I'll... I'll talk to you off air about that. Um, I did you have issues? What? No, I didn't have issues. Now, um, I played Devil Daggers. I did not realize Devil Daggers is basically Geometry Wars, but in first person. Congratulations! You just won the fucking lottery. And it's also just—it's basically just an endless shooter. The enemies come, you shoot the enemies, you collect diamonds, and you get more powerful by getting more diamonds. And as more time passes, more enemies come in. With more patterns. And With more, more different patterns damage. and different types of enemies. Some lay mines. Some, and you die in one hit. Oh, yeah. Which is the <laughs> biggest. Because I, I, <laughs> I played it for a bit. And I'm like, like 10 seconds in, I'm like, wait. Am I going to die from one hit? If the, one, of, one of the skulls hit me, I'm like, yep. Okay. Second try. All right, I literally went through all the separate scenarios of death. <laughs> Just like, okay, all right, let's run forward. Wait, what's going to happen if I touch one of the... And I'm dead. Mm, I see. Second, third try. Mm, oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a cliff. Oh, there's a side. There's a edge. If I jump off the edge, I'm dead. Mm, I see. So then I buckle down and I beat your record. Oh man, I haven't played that shit in fucking ages. I beat it by twenty seconds. <laughs> Fair, I haven't. I played only twice. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm. Uh, Did you feel stupid now? <laughs> no, I was like, uh, Evo's got a record. I'm beating that. I don't care. So I am at seventy something seconds. I mean, I literally played it twice, and I kind of forgot about it. But I saw it. I mean, I, when the time comes, because I'm playing through other shit. But yeah, yeah. That game is oh. hectic as hell. Like it points as well. Where you, Did you, you, but why didn't you play Iron Fury? You have one job, Iron Fury. I'll play it. I promised, and I'll play it. Don't you worry. No. Just, just <laughs> right no, now. The, End the stream. Start playing yeah, Iron Fury straight away. Just, just play it. Remember, last difficulty. F final difficulty. Last difficulty. Just. <laughs> also, when I was like, when I saw the overlooked hotel. Yeah. My mind instantly fucking transported to blood. Yeah, <laughs> straight away. And I was like, "You, I like better." Ta -ta -toro! <laughs> you just hear screaming, mm. screaming, cult, screaming. Uh, what were they called again? Uh, the cultists. The cultists. Yeah, the. Uh, no cultists. The, 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 no. the, the head scan fuckers with the bathrobes. Well, they are head scanners. And they're not that difficult to deal with. Yes, I'm just, I, I could just remember them. I, I love the way they die in blood. They just go, ah! It's, it's, it's the scream that's just sheer perfection. That game, I mean, that game did everything right. Yes. For a reason. Talented people with actual fucking understanding how to make the levels. Like, if you want to see amazing fucking level design, the Overlook Hotel, episode two, mission four, the Overlook Hotel. It's probably one of the deepest single player levels I've seen in a long time. Like that shit fucking It's amazing. like six or seven loops, basically. They all it's all it. all converge in the in the lobby of the hotel. No, 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 no. It's it takes direct inspiration from the Overlook Hotel. That's why the whole the shining references. Hmm. And all of Oh it yeah, you you find Jack Nicholson in the hedge maze, well, don't they, you? Yeah, well it's not a really a hedge maze because yeah, reasons. you know they but yeah, because I said the penguin, let me just get the news thing going. News transition. Okay, so the news transition just happened and you know, uh, that's, that's good. So what I was gonna say, there's been a bunch of rumors going around about the Batman. And one of them was that Colin Farrell might play the Penguin. Nah, no thank you. He deserves better. True. So the, 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 um... 
So yeah, uh, apparently Colin Farrell might be, there's, I, I said it in a chat that people are just, just grasping at straws. I don't think it's been confirmed that he's going to play. I don't think it should be, because I don't think that Colin Farrell needs to fuck the, this downer in his career. Yeah. And I don't fuck, because I don't think he can pull it off. Most because the Penguins is also incredibly fucking short. Yes. I don't think people understand that. The Penguins should be short. I think that's Tari that's David, his biggest... Yeah. Tari David did it the best. It's one of the few times he wasn't trying to be funny even. So there's a... There's a... Uh... There's an article on Polygon that's confirming it, but uh, yeah, I don't I'm, think I'm that's so, true. I'm sorry, it's Polygon. Fucking and move on. S uh, Andy Serkis might be might be Alfred. It's it's Polygon. <laughs> it's literally for any mouth breathing fucking individual can work for fucking Polygon. They literally don't care. It is so fucking bad. Have you seen their goddamn the video game reviews? Uh, oh my fucking god! Just I I I want you to sit and read for some of them. Oh no, I've read Polygon articles and they're they're just painful to sit through. Mind the fucking you get, you get, you get, the shit they you get say. two oh. lines in and you go, huh? Because um, apparently nowadays, I mean that's pretty obvious. If, if no well, the modern day game journalism, which is dead, yeah, any fucking dipshit can. It, it, a game is not good if it's not stating something that's of social fucking uh, of importance. But here's the kicker. It has to align with our social critiques. Otherwise, it's bad yeah. and it's wrong. Otherwise, it makes shut, shut, shut the fuck up. Is, is the game bad? Is the game barely functioning? Yeah, but you know, it's still says something that's the most important yeah, thing. Yeah, but no quality. Fuck. fuck off. No, 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 motherfucker. You pay to play the game. You don't pay for a fucking social statement. I can get those if I walk, walk down the fucking street and I can get those for fucking free. Don't need it in a game. But yeah, um, did you see the trailer for The Colors Out of Space? Uh, no, but I saw the latest uh, trailer for Bad Boys. There's another. There's a trailer for Bad Boys? Well, yeah, there's a couple. I haven't seen that. Fucking amazing, bro. Is it? Is it just Bad Fucking... Boys? Oh, it's really good. And there's a story that's a bit given too much, but I guess you get it. It's fine. Bad. Bad Boys for life. I want that movie. Bad Boys for I also, Life. I also saw the trailer for Black Christmas. Oh yeah, one did come out two days ago. Shit, I didn't even notice that. Wait, trailer for Black Christmas? Yeah, it's garbage. Let's oh. go with that one. What? I know it's gonna suck, but I'll still watch it. What a shame. Okay, Bad Boys for Life is going there. I'm not gonna play it on the screen because I don't want to get in trouble again. But yeah, there's that. There's that look. There's that Michael Bay look. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. I love the Bad Boys films. I don't care what people say. That is fucking stupid, but it's yeah. good. It's his best films. That and The Rock are just Bay's best films. Uh, the Rock's fine, but it's not amazing. I don't think any other films that he's made sort of come close. Yep, it's just bad boys, isn't it? Yeah, Martin Lawrence is a, is a family man. Will Smith is a, a cool man. Uh, shooting guns. There's a shoot, kicking doors down. Oh, it's coming out in January. Oh, it's coming out in like... Yeah, I'm waiting for it. I don't think it's going to be amazing, but I still think it's going to no, be No, I'm going to watch it. And there's yeah. a dude, the dude from Riverdale. It's Reggie. Reggie's in it. Yeah. yeah. Speak of that, I need to get back on Riverdale. I've not watched the last couple episodes. Okay, this is Will Smith. He has a gun, and there's they're screaming at each other again. As always, there's a man with a... Oh, they have a crew now. Is that what it is? All right. All right, you saw me there. I saw, I saw a real explosion just now. It wasn't a CGI explosion. And there's the original shot of the 360, but they just look old and tired. Yep. All right. Mm-hmm. I just finished the goddamn trailer for Call Out of Space. What do you think? Looks good. Yeah. Looks, it doesn't look amazing. Looks good. That's all I needed. There's color in it. That's all I care about. 
Yeah, but the, 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 the biggest issue is out of space. It's supposed to be a color we've never seen before. How the fuck do you even do that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's, 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 but I, I guess purple's going to be fine enough. Yeah. Purple's fine. I'm, I'm guessing it might. The, the, they might not even show the whole thing properly, so it might change in the final film. Nah, they'll, they'll show it. Yeah. Uh, did you see the trailer for... Uh, oh, what, what am I looking at? What is this? Why is this link so busted? Ah! Uh, uh, the trailer for The Invisible Man. No, and I don't care. That shit should die. It doesn't look terrible, you know. It, it looks mm. more into the whole idea of what if somebody said there was an invisible man and nobody believed him. Angle. Ah, please kill it. Also, the director of fucking Cold War of Space is Richard Stanley. Yes. Which gives us a lot of faith in the film. Kinda. Maybe. Yeah, the man, the man, the man has done some stuff. I mean, I mean he did Hollywood and those things, which were fine. Hollywood is a cult classic, though, so. He's but done afterwards... The Island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> 96. Yeah, he also did that. He also did The Abandoned, which I'm not a big fan of. I mean, granted, he did the screenplay, but, eh? Dick Stanley. Dick Stanley did a lot of things, Dick Stanley. I mean, he's a British person for them, correctly. He's only, no, he's, uh, he's only done f four films. Yeah. Oh. No, he directed 16, but what the fuck? I mean, granted, most of them, some of them did the document documentaries and short movies, but they still fucking count. I don't think he was the British. What the fuck? Huh. I mean, I remember a couple of years ago he was in Manchester. Oh, was he? There was a, yeah, he, there was a panel and was it the Spooktober event or was it the the, Mar the June one? Uh, one of the two, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Also, he was fired from the island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> uh, big shame, big shame. There was a panel with him and the people asking questions. I couldn't attend because it was way too late in the fucking night and I still had to get back to fucking Liverpool. Right. So sad about that one. I was going to ask him. And I think he did mention that he was looking into a project. Apparently this is the one that's been going on. But this was like a couple of years ago. So I don't know what the fuck was going on. Maybe it was something else he was looking forward to do. Or whatever. I mean, I just hope it turns out good. Yeah, that that's that's the one. Pe people are coming back with decent reviews. So let's hope that it's got some cool shit. Yeah, other than that, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, what was it? Black Ops and the scummy monetization scheme they pulled off. No. Well, the game's dead, but it's so fucking, but it's so fucking dead that uh, uh, people that still play that are moving on to Call of Duty, the new one, Modern Warfare. Yeah. So guess what? And it had horrendous monetization issues. So Activision decided to reverse the monetization issues because the game's already fucking dead. Right. That's probably they're gonna probably move on and monetize Modern Warfare in a couple of months. <laughs> Give it some travel Danish. Because Modern Warfare like multiplayer looks really good. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, Red Dead Redemption 2 launched for PC. It's shaky as hell. Go, no, it's broken as fuck. Is it? Yo, people can't fucking run it. And, well, yeah, because it, uh, it's it's a fucking slog to run. It's a heavy game. I mean, no, if, if no, you see no, what the no, game no, looks no, like. You're, no, you're completely fucking wrong. Oh. You're completely fucking wrong. It's the exact opposite. People on the fucking high spec spectrum can't fucking uh, run it. People on the mid, mid tier to the minimal one run it without issues. What? Are you serious? Per second. Oh yeah. See, I've said it a thousand times. Dogs are dumb as, as bricks. They have issues because people ask them to do PC games and they don't want to fucking do PC games. They don't. They just don't want to fucking do them. Because they've the always been they console thingies. Bullshit. So. Bullshit. This is told, almost uh, GTA was a fucking uh, PC game before it was console. Come huh. on, and like, GTA made the fucking made them uh, big. You sure? You sure it wasn't a PlayStation One game at first? GTA Three. Oh, not PlayStation One. Sorry, GTA Three. Yeah, that was a that was a X, original Xbox. 
Was it? Because I'm pretty much remember that it came out. Let's see. November 22nd for PlayStation 2. 21st of May 2002 for uh, PC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they they always remember. brought it out first on consoles. Because then... I don't fucking remember at all people playing that shit on console. Any of it. Yeah, because we because so we all grew up with PCs. Consoles weren't that prevalent back home. No, I mean in general, even the years afterwards, people weren't talking about fucking console GTA Vice City and three. People were talking about uh PC ones. Which is which might explain why fucking Vice City was such a fucking hot piece of shit when it came to the <laughs> goddamn fucking helicopter stages. Cause that shit is actually doable now that I think about it with a with a with joystick. Yeah. Doing it with mouse and keyboard was fucking Stupid. It was, it was difficult. It was th- fucking stupid as bricks. I, I remember trying to play that game on a PC. I mean, I played it on PC. I actually beat them all, but the last stage. But with cheats. Mm-hmm. I always played Vice City with cheats, and I would just give myself huh. a mini gun. And there was this one See, like G- hut next to the beach that I would just stand and just shoot cops no, with a mini gun. GTA, GTA Two, the one that I remember starting to play from, is released on all. All of the same, all at the same time. Oh. Microsoft PlayStation the top down the one. Game Boy Color, yeah, the, and Game Boy Color. <laughs> what? On the twenty second of October, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, I, I still fucking remember because people were raving about the PC ones, and I think after four, after four, I think around five, they started actually delay, uh, not doing the PC builds at all. Because let's say, uh, it, when, when you look back, yeah, because the, the, the release of four was pretty pretty terrible as well mm. on PC. Yeah, because they don't because they don't know how to fucking do them. They said it but uh, plenty of times uh, because uh, PC has rotating specs and we need to program more rather than have the static specs of the goddamn consoles. And that's much easier. I was like, yeah, because you lazy sons of bitches can't fucking sit down and program properly. Because many people don't complain about it, but you do. <laughs> you do. Something doesn't seem like. But you know what? That's fine. See, here's the uh, X- Xbox is a year later after PC. A year after PC. That's two years since fucking t- uh, PlayStation 2. <laughs> I don't remember that game for PlayStation. I'm not going to. Well, lie. no, that's because the uh, Xbox original didn't come out to what? 2000 and. Still. Two. And I, it may, it... I don't remember. Yeah, so in one year they were able to switch the fucking code. That's, that's different. Oh like, well, no! If if it if it's a new thing and it's coming out, they will um like um developers will get dev kits before the console comes out. No, that's no, why no, you I'm get so many so many like launch games with no, new consoles. No, listen, listen. That's that's not the issue here because also that's not true because they you're running completely in fucking new specs. Does not yeah, mean that you can actually pro- uh, you can actually fucking code them on. Mm-hmm. That's the whole thing. And- you and you just swap the game for a for one console because you're probably gonna use the same fucking skin to another console. That shit ain't exactly easy. No, it depend, depends depends on the dev kit you're even, given. Yeah, even that doesn't make sense because that's one of the reasons why the PS Vita fucking crashed because it was way above its fucking time and it didn't work. Nowadays, the the, the game uh, literally you can see the fucking uh, the thing in the latest uh, latest PlayStation portables. Even the Switch takes a lot of cues from the Vita, which is interesting. Not to mention the fact that something like the Nokia Engage suffered the same fucking issue. Not the that, Nokia I mean, it's a, Engage. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a, it's a shitty phone that fucking failed miserably. But here's the thing. It was way ahead of its time and people couldn't fucking do anything, right? Because they never fucking learned. They never sat down and learned uh, anything about it. Which means that these people were committed to making the Xbox One work. So they fucking sat down in one year, were able to convert the code to make it fucking function for, a, uh, even with a dev kit for a fucking thing they never actually fucking touched before. Just, you see the fucking issue here when they say that they can't fucking code? You see, it's it, it doesn't it doesn't make it safe. It, just it doesn't just make it don't safe. don't yeah don't believe everything they say. Basically, speaking of I, I, things that people say, I'm looking into like um, right now while you were talking about that, I was looking into mm-hmm. um, Twitch statistics and you know who streams on a Thursday and whatnot. Yeah. Right now, I mean, from the recommended channels that I've got on my thing, we got people who have like thirty eight thousand viewers. <laughs> And there's a guy who's just chatting, who's called Tim the Tap Man. Oh, I know him. What about him? 6.7k viewers, who's just chatting, chilling them football tonight. Well, yeah, listen, Tim the Tap Man is a very big uh, big name. Okay. Uh, also, I think uh, there was also uh, the thing that Mixer was trying to get him on. 
He's actually a big dip because he uses might, three model. You know, we could try Mixer if, if that works better, but... It doesn't. Does it not? Not, not yet, it's a bit weird. See, Team the Tatman became prominent as far as I remember, around Shrewd and the others. Mm -hmm. And he used to play a lot with them, so he gained a massive base uh, followers because of it. He's, he's a cool dude, listen, this, this is not a knock on him. He, he found something that worked, and did fine. He was okay, and when people switched from one game, so he, so he did, did he. He also was a long time part of the Battle Royale yeah. scene of streamers, and he was one of the bigger names there, together with Ninja and Shrewd. Yeah, and Dr. Disrespect is streaming as well. Uh, yeah. And Plague of, Plague of Gripes just started playing Warframe too. So, Oh, there you go. If you want to, if it's if people fine. if people want to get into a free game that's got that's still getting developed and the only uh, money you pay for is cosmetic, play Warframe. No, nah, I mean, for, uh, also not to mention it's like currently Asmogod is also streaming WoW. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm looking at as well. Yeah, I don't think I just want that fucking recommended channel off. Nick Marks is streaming Fortnite. League of Legends. I, uh, so. Okay, I've banned those games so they never fucking appear on my my can you friend, do that? You know? Yeah, you can. Oh shit! So I don't want to look at WoW or Fortnite for that matter. I also remember what uh, I also banned specific streamers so they never fucking appear. Because you know it just makes me feel better when that has shit happens. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like I mean, uh, I don't know. It's like. And the Red Dead Redemption 2, it, it also has a myriad of other issues because it's also an Epic Games store. And it, no, it's, it's on Steam, isn't it? No, it's not on Steam. Oh, no. Of course it's not on Steam. Come on, Rockstar are fucking, they're so fucking greedy. It's hilarious. It's honestly a fucking joke at this point that people to, decide to give them money for some reason. Even though uh, last week we talked about how EA and Bethesda are trying to get back on Steam. Not Bethesda, not Bethesda. Oh, so EA and uh, Ubi, yeah. Uh, but the all Rockstar also has their own launcher, which is broken, almost as bad as fucking Origin, and you play it. They have two games. Why would they need a launcher? Blizzard also has a launcher, and they've got like five at best. Yeah, but five's better than two. Sorry, no, not five. They have WoW. World of Warcraft, uh, just Warcraft, uh, Starcraft, uh, Hots, Hearthstone... Overwatch. Overwatch. That's, five. that's five. Six. Diablo. Uh, oh, yeah. Diablo, that's six. And when they launched it, they had two games. Yeah, well, that, you know what Blizzard fans are like. They'll, they'll pay you. They'll, people sell them, like, fucking used condoms by uh, what's, not his, any, what's his face. Listen, people not anymore. Not anymore. Not Trust anymore. Me. But when not that anymore. started, people, Blizzard fans would pay for anything, regardless of like, how shit or broken it is. Let me explain like this. Just see the fucking press coverage of the shit that happened during the <laughs> during BlizzCon. BlizzCon. During BlizzCon, that, that I mean, it's like these are panties worn by the real May. Do you want to buy them? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. People Not fucking anymore, yelling free people... Hong Kong and free Blitz Chun. Yeah, people apparently people uh, people uh, got in trouble because they showed up in Winnie the Pooh costumes to <laughs> Not as well. to, to protest. Uh... There's a lot of shit that happened that yes. there. And you know when they started issuing the apology, they disabled all comments on the Twitch stream. Because that one went well. That always goes well. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, that shit show, man. That's why, that's why I was talking to Vest today. He's a Diablo fan, that's fair. Yeah. I don't blame him. Diablo 2 was a good game. It is a good game. It's not Still dead. is, yeah. And you know what talking about? I was like, if you see the game, because he hasn't seen the game, but he only saw the cutscene. He said the cutscene looked fine. That's fair. Good. Blizzard always does good cutscenes. That's about it. I was like, do you remember? I was like, do you remember how Diablo 3, when they announced it and they released the, the original gameplay trailer, was it was like, well, it was like dark, grid. You were looking at it, it was like, this actually looks like fucking Diablo. It looks like, like Diablo, Diablo should, yeah. Just dark, green, gloomy. Uh, you play it, you get to fucking episode two. Because this shit, and this, and this happened also with the open battle, because it was up to level 13, and it does the skeleton shit. king. Yeah. And, and you know, it's after that finish, and you finish act one, go to after act two, there's like one or two places that came to the manager of Diablo. But the other was, other than that, it was a fucking My Little Pony experience. Everything was so <laughs> fucking bright and shiny. And I mean, there's nothing wrong like, with color 
having a colorful game and still having it dark. It's just they couldn't maintain the tone. the the dark The dark town was the first town and and the and basically in the first level, and that was it. I mean, even fucking hell looked like a goddamn fucking My Little Pony convention. Yeah. Again, nothing, nothing better than the third. Well, I like the set. Mm, which one do I like the most? Third Town Diablo Three. No, oh, the fifth one. Uh, the, in the, the jungle. The, I forgot the, it. Is it. No, it's it's more of a dock, isn't it? Hey, it's in the jungle. That's a cool it, I know it's like a lot of just bridges and everything's dark and there's yeah, vines and shit. It's the, the best. It's the best I, looking one. Personally, I always like the second more. I don't know. The, just, the desert. I, yeah, I am just a fucking sucker for those. Because when they're done right, they're done right. And album was done right. Is that why you like, uh, what's it called? Uh, that we talked about last week. Uh, the game. Fuck. The really the good medieval? No, the really good game that we talked about that, that we recommend everybody should play that's set in Dubai. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Spec, Spec Ops the Line, yeah. Oh, no, no, that was just for decent shooting mechanics, so that I know it wasn't like fucking special. It's in the desert and there's sand, you shoot the sand, no, uh, the sand comes out. Uh, no, I mean, I, I liked it most because they, they, when they did, they made sense. Also, Durio was, was one of the more uh, our visually striking bosses, I remember. That's well, so was, uh, so was, um, Andario, not Andario, Andario was a piece of shit. Uh, Andario. Mephos, also... Me Mefo, yeah, Me Mephos pretty cool. Mefo, Mefo, yeah, Mefo, they are also fucking far Mefo at this point. It's like, mm. But, uh, I mean, that, that's fine. I, I mean, like, I, was... I like, I like Bale uh, in the cinematic, especially. I remember seeing that cinematic for the first time back in the day going, Is this a movie? <laughs> This, yeah, no, I, is this, I, I, this a movie? No, no, yeah, so, but, oh, yeah. Sadly, sadly, the people do have to make a game for the good cinematics. So, <laughs> okay. well, Unfortunately. Don't, don't forget, though, Overwatch 2. It's just, I it, died a little when I said that. I, I, I think this is going to... I think if they mention it might be on the PV, which is yeah. weird. But if it works, it works. I mean, fucking PV, Team Fortress worked fine. Yeah, that's pretty fucking dumb. Yeah, but Team just... Fortress PV is pretty good, so. It's not good, it's just dumb as bricks. Which reminds me, I still need to finish it. I've got one more to beat, but people in that are so fucking toxic, I just can't be asked for them. Mm, I, I just want I just want to beat it so I have them all. You know, you know when you just want to beat all the all the P PVE maps and just you go, okay, I, I've done it now. I can't be, I don't have to do it anymore. But I mean, I will I won't mind trying, but it's Team Fortress, and I don't give a shit about that game, so. It's a good Jim, time. You're on your own. It's a really good time. You're on your own. Oh. Also, you just you need to just I believe mean, oh, fuck that game is so good. Although the boss fights, I fucking hate the boss fights. <laughs> I hate them so much. It's so fucking toxic. Alright, regardless. <laughs> Last week. Yeah. We, I we gave you it. a film. It's called The Invitation. Yes. It's a movie I've seen before. Yes. It's a uh, actually put in millennial terms. It's one of those movies. Put it in millennial terms, yeah. Yeah, it's like it was uh, a an Instagram on following away from a goddamn bloodbath. <laughs> right, give me a minute. Yeah. Uh, it starts off uh, with uh, the couple. Give me a second. Yeah, the couple with from Will and Eden. No, 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 Eden, Kira. Yes. Let me just double check because I fucking forgot the name. Uh, traveling towards Will's ex girlfriend. Ex wife. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Ex wife and her new boy toy ish. A uh, new husband. Oh. Shut up. I, I just. Listen, I don't think that the whole point was that they were actually married in a sense that we understand. Yeah. They had one was, of those open relationships. David, uh, David's the new guy, Eden's the former wife. Uh, Will's the main man, and Kira is his and current they, and girlfriend. They the, and they get invited to this dinner together with a couple, uh, one more family, I think it was. The, it's like a reunion dinner. Yeah, Will gets the Gina invitation to go to go to the uh, reunion dinner. By yeah, this is like this wife. is a couple. The, yeah, there's a lot of people. It's yes. fucking weird. It's like if I was at the worst place, I'd say no. But for some reason, he wants to confront her, so he gets to move on because apparently he didn't move on because something just, happened. But it's it's I only just, hinted towards. 
I can't even remember if they actually did it because I watched it last night. Less said about that, the better. Yes. Mostly because it was, it was a very long day. <laughs> actually, it was a long fucking morning because I went to bed at fucking 7 because I couldn't sleep. I oh. woke up at 9. Woke up at 9, then woke up at 10, then woke up at 12. And I was dead. That, the whole that is one of the worst, like. Yeah, things. like the fucking brain fried. And. And the, the, the dinner proceeds all goes well. It's like people get along, they just banter around, yeah. stuffing. It's like typical millennial shit going on. People who succeeded, people who failed, fucking anxiety issues, people who feel underappreciated, underachieved, people who overachieve and have to rub it into other people's uh, place, uh, face. You know, reasons why we don't like to socialize with other things. Yes. Sorry, people. <laughs> and then, uh, Will and, uh, sorry, not Will and. It was uh, Eden and uh, Tommy. Wait, Tommy was the name, right? David. Oh no, Tommy and David. Uh, Eden and David. Women toy. Uh, what's her? Yeah, the other girl. Ah, uh, let me see. Sadie? Was it Sadie? Was it Sadie? Was it... Yeah, it is Sadie. It, it just fucking burst out of nowhere. At, at this point, you know, we were still starting to figure out that something's not right. Yeah, Will. Will's like, because this is the house he used to live in with his wife, and now he's coming mm -hmm. back to it. And he's like, he doesn't feel comfortable being there as it is. But then this woman shows up, and the whole the whole atmosphere of the film just changes. <laughs> And they start going over the sexual, and yes. Eden's, Eden's making moves towards, towards Will. David is eyeing uh, Kira, and they will just want to fuck each other. Cause yeah, there's, I don't know. there's a lot of swinger things going on, which don't make a lot of sense. Not at all. Yeah. And especially especially since uh, what's about to happen, it makes even less fucking sense what the fuck they were doing. <laughs> and, you know, and... Well, and everyone's like, what the fuck is this? And they was like, oh, we have an open relationship. And we was like, oh, so that's why I wanted to suck my dick again. I, I, I just, what? He goes, what? Yeah. And, and, and Kira's like, we need, we need to go. This was a bad idea. Yeah. Of course it was a fucking... But they can't. Because suddenly, the movie starts into a fucking bloodhouse. It starts devolving slowly, yeah. Yeah. It just David, uh, Eden, and the girl, Sadie, just, just go fucking mental. They start killing people. Well, yeah, you forget that before that they show the the whole video of uh, how they're they're all they all found each other in this. Not, not. Oh, yeah, this a, sorry, guys, it's not a call. It's not a call. It's community, guys. It's not. It's not yeah. the... I was gonna go for the fucking cult, but yeah, it's technically it's a cult. Yes, it's a cult that happens, and the, the cult members enter the house as well, if I remember correctly. Yes, he goes and outside to light key. light the lantern. Yeah, to see to show that it's time for the cult members to it's come. Time for the culling. I guess, I don't know. I don't even understand. I, this is the thing. I can't remember, and I don't remember at all, why they had to call the, them. Basically, um, David, uh, da not David, Wills and Eden's son yeah, I remember. Died, died in an accident, and the whole movie is about him getting over that. Yeah, but why were the fucking cult members in... Why did they have to right. kill everyone? His, his wife tried to kill herself. Well, uh, that, so that's how they got the... separated. So yeah, then she goes to Mexico. Her. Joins this gets... cult, which is all about moving on. And the only yeah, way but... to move on is to kill everybody and kill yourself so you can meet each other in the afterlife. It's very Manson-esque types shit. Where they all just turns out they've all just been brainwashed, and the only way to, you know, it's just, and, it's just a know, murder cult essentially. Well, that, that much I remember. And here's the thing: it's like, and the movie starts becoming a very slow, yes, uh, a slow-paced thriller with a lot of uh, intense moments. It's very well shot. Yeah, and the, the sorry, the hide and seek. Yes. People are executed, people paying attention to the surroundings, you know, shit you don't usually see uh, in the And movies. the fact that Will sort of knows the layout of the house as well. Oh yeah, he knows it perfectly and he helps his girlfriend Kira, who I, I, she did survive in the end. Yeah, it was him, Tommy, and Kira that are left alive by the end. Yeah, and Tommy was, uh, he had his, his, was gay with his boyfriend Miguel. Yes. Was Asian, I think. Wait, was Miguel, it? No, Miguel Tommy, no, Tommy is a, is a white dude, he's got Big old chin. I forget his name. Oh, yeah. Forget the yeah, actor's yeah, name. Sorry. sorry. Yeah. I, sorry. I, I was thinking about another movie. <laughs> Strangely enough. I, you watched I, 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 remember the, 
I don't no, know. No, no. The, there was this other movie was almost the exact same thing, but there was this uh, guy. What the visit? The other... No, it's not the visit. Oh, uh, not the visit. It was something along those lines. It, it was. It yeah. was in the. It was in the boom of eighty synth films. Um... Yeah, and he, they had a. Uh, uh, and he was gay, and he had a boyfriend who was a uh, Asian nurse. Manders. I was like, it's a very specific thing, but I'll take it. And he died even before he got to the fucking house. People were wondering if they thought that he just left off because he apparently he was also kind of a playboy. I was like, I okay, why the fuck do people here care about that? They, they, they actually never fucking found out that he was dead. That's yeah. the funniest thing. They never actually found out he was dead. But yeah, the, the movie and uh, the chase scenes like they they are actually convoluted and very interesting. Yes, high intense, and all comments and we're just going fucking ham. He, he, I remember he well well apparently uh, that it gets hinted that he has anxiety, so oh, she, yeah. it it's, it deals with it actually deals with it quite well with the way he's acting and like his uh, outbursts I, I, and all that. I think I think it was uh, one of the reasons why they got separated because he never forgave his wife who tried yes. to kill herself rather than talk to him. Yeah, and that also caused him uh, anxiety. But he does he say it to her. He does, like the moment he screams at her, it's when he sort of you know yeah. frees himself. The, of the it. moment, the, the, yeah. the, the, the moment it just moment. clicks, and then before the she dies as well, she's like, "I never forgave myself either, and I'm sorry." And it's like, "Oh, so well." It, yeah. The moment he achieved catharsis and came to grips with everything. So he's a new man and switched. That one singular moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I and, and, and what I remember the most tragic thing was with the way that that way he went out. He saw that the whole fucking valley where the house was. Yes, because it's set in the Hollywood Hills, and yeah. they were talking about how a lot of people are part of the invitation, which is the name of the cult. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not a cult though. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are part of it. You'd be very surprised. I mean, might as well have them being fucking vegan at this point. <laughs> <laughs> come, come join our party. It's not a cult. It's just a, we're all here for uh, to free, it's, it's, free the it's, animals. Yeah, it's, it's just a bit of a scheme, bro. You don't Wait, appreciate what? the animals, pal. Yeah. Um, is it the guest? I'm trying to think that. No, no, the, the guest was something else. I feel like the, the guest was a movie where there was like, this vet that turns out was not of it, just a Shit. fucking madman. Yeah, the guest. Oh, it's the dude from. It's the dude from. Um... Oh, the movie is fucking amazing. No is it? joke. Me and yeah, me and Vesco saw it in the cinema. We laughed our asses out. It was that good. The guest. Yeah, it's it's the same dude from the uh, the movie. One of the, the other devil. movies that we watched uh, on yeah, the podcast. Yeah, I saw the devil. A soldier oh, the, the... introduced himself to the Peyers and family, claiming to be a friend of their own who died in action. After the young mm-hmm. man is welcomed to their home, a series of accidental deaths seem to be connected to, to his presence. I saw the devil. But you were saying it's good in a good way, or not in oh, a good yeah, way? It was, it, was, it was a fucking blast, man. Jesus Christ, you need to watch it. I need to it's watch it. Pretty... Is it the gift you're thinking of? I, honestly, I don't fucking remember. Not gonna lie. Don't remember. At all. No, the gift is something else. Never mind. No, the gift is something else. I don't want. I, 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 if I put, if I go to sleep and wake up and I put my fucking mind to it, I'll remember. <laughs> but I don't think I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just dumb. Yeah, the ending of this film. The ending of this film is a bit striking. With when they just walk yeah. out and yeah, every well, every three houses, yeah, a red lantern. A so a bunch yeah. of people have been killing themselves that night. And I, th- I think it does take a lot of cues from a lot of the uh, sex. Yes. It's, it's mostly it feels like it's Hollywood heroes. The obvious one would be the uh, the, the Ma- Manson one. The other yeah, Manson one. Oh, I, still, just... I still remember listening to that to the mm. tape. I was like, why do I bother listening to this? But yeah. And there's a couple other ones. It's not like the, one of the most prominent ones that existed in America, the, the Rajnishpuram. Yeah. It's, it doesn't take cues off of that one, though. That was an interesting It doesn't take cues of the, uh, the church one. Which one? Uh, no, it, it was the one in South America that I saw. So, sorry, I saw in Africa that I saw. It's like a 2007 found footage kind of movie. Okay, now I just literally just googled death cults. Let me see. 
Two, no, just like 2000, uh, the 2000 uh, found footage. So, People's Temple, Solar Temple, Heaven's Gate, Adam House. Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate? How was that? I think it was Heaven's Gate. From March was, 24th to 27th, 1987, 39 followers of Heaven's Gate d died in a mass suicide in... Yes, and it is in a Rancho about. Santa Fe, California, which borders San Diego to the north. These people believed, according to the teachers, no, wait, of the wait, group it's not, that no, they saw that it's a different one. Look. That through their suicides, they were exiting their human vessels so that their souls could go on a journey, go on a journey aboard a spaceship oh, no. they believed to be following it's not, Comet. It's not that one. It was a specific one. It was made by. So it's not the Bangladeshi one. It, it, it's a vice one. No, I'm, re I'm reading about the actual suicides. Uh, the actual one? It was um, in Africa. I want you to remember what happened. It's more like two people. Jamestown? Was it Jamestown? Uh, yeah, on November Jamestown. 18th, 1978. It, sh it should have a movie. It should have a movie, Andres. So just fucking check the movies. 918 Americans died in People's Temple. Related incidents including 909 members of the temple led by Jim Jones and Jamestown. Check the Virginia. fucking... Check the well, fucking I don't know anything about movies. I'm looking at. Go down. You just move down. You I'm just on the wiki article. So if you're on a wiki article, it's gonna have a fucking one at the fucking bottom. Cultural significance. Oh, okay. Usually how they. Okay, let's let's go. Nope. Nope. It, this is all. Oh my god. Well, I think oh, what am I going I'm, I'm gonna be on the list now. Mass suicide <laughs> movies. It's, yeah, it probably is Jamestown. Should Jamestown, be. the life and death of people's temple. No, it's a it's a Vice City movie. A Vice? It's a Vice, Vice is in Vice, the company Vice. Yeah, Vice. Vice. What? God, I'm so fucking tired. Vice City, what the fuck's wrong? <laughs> Vice, okay, let's go to Vice. Vice, is it? So I'm guessing that's a documentary then. <laughs> not exactly. Well, the court was in the 80s. Vice did not exist. That much I remember. Okay. Uh... The Sacrament. The Sacrament? Yes, the Sacrament. Eden Parish. Oh, th this is on Netflix. Of course it's a fucking Netflix. It's a Vice movie. What the hell did you expect? <laughs> Eden Parish. John Johnstown Massacre, 1978. Yeah, I, I, re I read that to you. It was the second one I started reading, but then he... Oh, yeah, so fucking people that died. <laughs> Who fucking cares? <laughs> yeah, Jonestown is... Uh... Oh, look. Aftermath. Yeah, 909 members of the temple led by Jim Jones in Jonestown, Guinea. The dead include 276 children. A table of the temple's final meeting in Jamestown, uh, Jonestown Pavilion contains repeated discussions of the group committing revolutionary suicide, including references to people taking the poison and the vats to be used. Yeah, th there, I've listened to these tapes as well. Yeah, I know. It's actually not, not a bad movie. I said it was just produced by Eli Roth. People in Jamestown, Jamestown died of an apparent cyanide poisoning, except for no, Jones, the... who died of, of an injury consistent it's with Jones Jonestown, not Jamestown. Gun. No, Jonestown. Jo Jones is the leader. I know. But it's the Jonestown massacre. Yeah. Because he created that whole city. It was Gunshot their creation. They, they, they got shipped off from America to Guyana. Guyana. Yeah. Guyana. Guinea. Guyana. Guinea, basically. Yeah. There's a people stay with the temple agricultural project. Jonestown. But the flavor a drink they ingested at the time contained no poison. Mm hmm. No, oh, this is like a Riverdale. In Riverdale, there's a drink that gets mixed in with uh, something, and it's it's got poison in it. It's, it's like Gatorade, but in a flavor aid. I mean, might as well be Gatorade. Hey, yeah. Come at me if you disagree. It doesn't kill come you straight away, it kills you slowly, yeah. <laughs> From the inside. I want to point out that when, you know, that uh, since fucking Terminator came out, most I've seen was fucking negative reviews. Same. Good. Apparently, uh, oh, you should, honestly, also, honestly, uh, okay. watch watch the so, uh, Red Letter Media opener for the review. No, 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 uh, just listen. 
Scream is reportedly the latest horror franchise to get a big screen revival. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, yeah. I've seen plenty of other places. I don't want to see other people talk the same shit. It's just pointless. No, no, no. Because, uh... No, they're, they're opener. It's just like three or four minutes. And they try to like do the... <laughs> they're trying to do the uh, timelines or whatever. And it's one of the... Fu- it's just two dudes talking on the phone. And every time somebody's mentioning, he goes, What? But that was a different guy. It, honestly, just watch it. It's 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 some of the funniest shit I think I've seen, like connected to Terminator. They did it. They did it. Was it was it last year or year before with dark with uh, not dark honestly, fate with? Uh, I don't care. It Genesis. Just, I don't care. Just just I don't care. Just let it die. Kill it. Just as I saw the new fucking Star Wars uh, one trailer. Just let it die. Yeah, let it die. Let Supposedly it it's good after this. <laughs> no, 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 it won't. No. We'll be getting Star I'm Wars sorry. forever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I see fucking space battles and people riding fucking sp- uh, uh, alien horses pretending to be Snowball uh, William uh, Wallace in that, that bitch. Go fuck yourself. I saw I saw the two main antagonists teaming up again. Go fuck yourself. I see the little shit they were trying to do. I saw it. I heard fucking Palpatine who's supposed to be dead again. Palpatine's well, supposedly going to be in this, yes. I know. No, thank you. Go fuck yourself. Because you can't fucking de- uh, remove all of the extended universe to have fucking Palpatine back. Because that makes no fucking sense. Because the guy got sliced in fucking half about he didn't, 60 no, years he, ago. He didn't get, know. He get chucked down. So, he yeah, got chucked yeah, down there. Uh, uh, 60 years ago. Down <laughs> the fucking open space. Okay. 60 fucking years though. See, if they actually didn't destroy the fucking extended universe, the explanation is there. Since specific sets are so powerful, they transcend and become part of the force. Same as Jedi. Same as the fucking reason why they're able to project and disappear. Because they're not fucking there anymore. And reappear just to guide them. Because they're part of the fucking force. Oh, but now that we don't have that. There is no explanation to it. Yeah. It's just basically them redoing the fucking uh, original trilogy. Worse. And since they fucking killed Stock, who was supposed to be... The new the, trilogy's the big uh, bad, yeah. In the, this the tri- this trilogy's em- emperor, go fuck yourself. I don't know. You what goddamn doing. lazy imbert sons of bitches, <laughs> just fucking die already. <laughs> just die. Anyway, opinion opinions on the invitation. Uh, this is a good movie. It's a, it's really slow, and the story is uh, told mostly through the flashbacks, which. <laughs> nah. But uh, the, the, the 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 good moments come uh, from, from the catharsis. The, no, not the catharsis. It comes from the, the after the build-up, the second part of the movie, the yeah. meat and potatoes of it, which is uh, what I would usually suggest people watching it for. The rest of it is kind of wonky, but it's also really graphical. And it's, I mean, as graphical as the movie can be in 2017. Surprisingly graphic, actually, yeah. Eh, meh. I mean, it's fine. It's not the worst I've seen. It's a good film. It's a good, it's a, it, yeah. again, it's one of those downer movies, but uh, I, 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 we, I like we, a good downer. We need to cleanse our pa- I'll cleanse your palate. You will cleanse my this. palate, you say? Yeah. Drum roll, please. Next week, I'm gonna watch The Velocipasta. What? You're going to watch The Velocipasta. <laughs> Oh yeah. Pasta. Oh <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> You're going to watch the movie where a pastor becomes a velociraptor and fights crime, kinda. Oh, we're doing this. Oh, you fucker. And you're gonna love every last bit of it. Oh, yeah. I told you I would violate you in more ways than one. It's just beginning. That was a philosophy pastor. Oh, yeah. We talked about this ages ago, didn't we? We talked about the trailer. Sure. And now we're going to watch it. Fucking shit, man. I want to point out. Yeah. I am going to violate you from now on. Oh, no. Oh. 
Forgot I, yes, forgot it's quite like fun. So. All right, I see. I see how it's going to be. Okay, more Neil Breen coming up. <laughs> Neil Breen? Oh, I can take Neil Breen. He's on the list. Will... Neil Breen's on the list now. I will show you things that will make Neil Breen look like a fucking Oscar material. <laughs> Neil Breen. <laughs> no, it's Neil mm. Breen. It's, 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 uh, it's stock footage come to life. Uh, oh. And he's amazing, uh, and he's big titty girlfriends. Yes, just watch, it, watch it for the titties. It's pretty much that, that's it. But no, I will show you such level of degree of incompetence uh... that you're going to hate yourself. Okay. God damn it. Oh yeah. You thought it was over. You you're gonna wish that found footage movie was continuing. Oh, t t I'll give you something good though. Uh, the invitation. Try and guess the budget. Uh, one point two million. One million. Not close enough. I mean, everybody knows it's like that movie. They were shot with high fucking budget because it was pretty much fucking basic. They can use most, mostly goddamn fucking uh warehouse and just do all of it. Yeah, quite good. It's not even difficult. Still good. Because and it made it, the... it made three hundred million. So. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm all surprised that it doesn't have a fucking sequel. Please don't make it. I know, right? Please, no sequel. Sadly, in the version that I had, that I saw, uh, sorry, that I had lined up for the lighthouse is not a good one. Mostly because every five minutes I was cut off by fucking the gambling breaks, and I was like, ah, uh ah, -uh. I'm gonna wait for a better one. To see, but people said that movie is actually good. And, yeah, I need know, to. I need to watch it when actually I want to go see it at the cinema. I don't think it's gonna come out in England in the cinema. No, it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, it should be. The Lighthouse. I'm pretty sure I saw a poster somewhere. The Lighthouse UK release. 31st of January 2020. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, England. You can Brexit the way you fucking brains now. Yeah, that ain't happening anytime soon. Oh, yeah. Fuck me. All right, so I'm watching the Velocipaster. I can't, I can't even say it seriously. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, make it sound interesting or something. No, I'm watching a movie about a fucking past returning into a fucking Velociraptor. God fucking and damn he it. he fights fucking crimes against ninjas. Boom. Can't beat it. Best movie. Give it an Oscar. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Are okay. we? Is that us then? Are we? Are we? Are we finished? Yes. <laughs> that this is us. <laughs> this is. This is us. This is fucking shit. All right. And it's just the beginning for you. Just the start, I guess. Oh yeah. Also remember, remember. The fifth. Okay. If you don't. No. If you don't fucking play Iron Fury. I'll. I'll. I'll released. play a bit of it. Maybe. I want maybe you to even beat tonight. it by next week. Oh God. Oh yes. I got shit to do next week, you know. You got Saturdays and Sundays. I'm 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 work I'm like I'm I'm filming a thing next week as well. I'm doing I'm actually getting paid for it, so that's, that's good. You got Saturdays and Sundays. You've been delaying delaying this for fucking three weeks. It's I have. time. I have, yeah. Three weeks is enough time for you to beat the game. Alright, alright, fine, fine. Alright. I want you it took you four months to beat the game that it took me like fucking eight hours to beat. Yeah, but I, I do other things. So do I. I. I masturbate a lot. Uh, so th this has been. No, I don't uh, do that one. <laughs> hey, you were at my house. You know what it's like. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is a good place to end it. Thank you all for listening. Find us on Spotify, Tunes, and all the other me uh, platforms. Uh, thank you, sir, for joining me tonight. Thank you for talking shit again. And we will see you all next week on the Voices from Behind podcast. Uh, if you yes. got anything to add, anything to plug, anything to say. No, 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 not really. Okay. I'm playing the thing. Oh, don't play any, any more lolly songs, please. Thank you and good night. You don't tell me what you do, bitch boy. God damn it. I'll play all the lolly songs I want. <laughs> I'll I want play all Christmas. my lolly songs I won't play, boy. All I want for Christmas is Zubu. <laughs>